Hello, and you're welcome to our series on SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. For today's session, we'll be looking at our security parameters. Our security parameters include data access profiles, tax profiles, teams, and users. We'll go straight into it and begin by creating our data access profile. Our data access profile gives reader rights access or deny member access rights to each dimension in a model. In our scenario, we want to create a data access profile with the ID admin. With the description administration. We then want to go ahead to give access to the model which we created, which was capital expenditure. A secure dimension for our capital expenditure um, model was entity. We want to now go ahead to select our member, our dimension member, which we want to maintain as personal systems limited. And then we give our access, which is read and write. We then go ahead to click on our save button. Okay, so once that is saved, we can click on our back button and we are able to see our data access profile, which we created. We want to go on further to create our tax profile. Now the tax profile is a set of activities a user or team can perform. So in this scenario, we want to go ahead and create an ID for admin. The description we want to maintain as administration as well. Click on our next button. Assign the specific tax that we want this profile to have. So we just go ahead and click. Then click on add administration, analysis and collection. We want this profile to have majority of our activities or of the tax. So we go ahead and click on a few. Thank you. Click on our next button. We review. Our tax profile admin will be created. It will be assigned to 60 tax. If we are okay with that, we click on the finish button. And so our tax profile admin has been created, which we can assign to a user or a team. We want to go further to create a team. Now our teams represents a group of users with a common tax profile and data access profile. So we can go ahead and create a team and assign our data access profile and the tax profiles, which we just created. So for this team, we want to give it an ID of B O in the code 001 for the description budget office caption or capture. We click on next. If we have any users we want to assign, we can go ahead to do that. In this scenario, we don't have any users at this moment. So we can just click on next. We review the team will has no users as at this moment. So we can just go ahead and click on the finish. And our team will be created. As in when we have users which we wish to add to the team, we can go ahead and do that. So once that is done, we can we want to go ahead to add our users to the system. Now our users are added to the system 
by pulling the data from our business warehouse. So we go ahead and add our existing users in from BW. So we just search for the user which we created in BW test. And so we want to select BPC test. We can go ahead to assign the team which we created, which was budget office caption. And then we can click on finish. Okay, so once that is done, we can go in to see our user, which is BPC test, which belongs to the team budget office capture, our tax profile, where we can add the tax profile which we created, which was admin. Go ahead to click on okay. Go ahead to add our data access profile, which was admin as well. And then we can click on our save button. Okay. So we've been able to create our test user, which is BPC test user, added the test user to a team, which we created budget office capture and assigned the tax profile of admin and data access profile of admin to that user. So this is how we maintain our security parameters in BPC. Thank you. Please don't forget to like this video. Leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.